experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to yes. the outer limits. Hey, what? There was a time when people didn't even know what the internet was. Hard to believe, right? People were just learning how to register domains, learning to install their AOL CD-ROMs to check their electronic mail. These were pioneering times when the computer's potential was yet to be fully realized. But one film exploited the cyber coolness right out of that booming 90s tech industry. Cyberpunks.com is proud to bring you Essential Cyberpunk Cinema, the show that tells you what you gotta see. Today we take a look at the dial-up gym that is Hackers. This action-adventure flick tells the story of a group of teenage hackers who have to clear their own names before they are arrested for crimes they didn't commit. The movie bombed at the box office, bringing in $7.5 million against a $20 million budget. Those kind of things don't matter, though, because they left us with an over-the-top depiction of hacker culture at the height of the mythos origin. That doesn't matter either, because seriously, you gotta see this movie. A mixture of rave culture and Hollywood's half-baked understanding of what Gen Xers on the cusp of being millennials were actually up to in those days makes the characters seem larger than life. Matthew Lillard plays Serial Killer. It is I, the Serial Get Killer, call. making my first hey, coast hey, to coast, hey. worldwide, <laughs> global television appearance. <laughs> yes. Angelina Jolie plays Acid Burn, and Johnny Lee Miller plays Crash Overdrive. Their alternative clique stands out from the other students in the New York City High School. They're obviously on a whole other level as young Angelina Jolie's character leads this band of misfits on their merry quest. Also, there's a ton of rollerblading in this movie. Like, a whole ton of it. And while obviously it looks like something the cool kids would do, I don't want people thinking we actually did roller skate that much in the 1990s. We definitely didn't. Most of the comedy in Hackers is at the expense of Special Agent Dick Gill, played by Wendell Pierce. He's an inept Secret Service agent running the Cyber Crimes Investigations Unit, but he's absolutely in over his head. At one point, the crash and burn chemistry builds into a friendly rivalry, and to settle the bet on who is Hacker Supreme, the pair takes turns pranking Agent Gibbs. Their pranks involve everything from faking a criminal record, posting Gibbs' work phone number into an early BBS version of Craigslist casual encounters, to listing him as deceased in the employee logs. It's a great montage that shines a bit of light into the various things a hacker could do to someone if they really wanted to. The montage also provides some much needed levity in this cyber heist movie. Hackers doesn't rely explicitly on its technology. It's not clear what's real, it just feels plausible. This isn't one of those science fiction films where they shout a bunch of words to each other in a way that makes even the smartest person in the room feel lost. The team quotes the Protean programming books and lifts directly from the Hacker's Manifesto, yet the movie works a weird middle ground of what is possible through hacking and what isn't, but could be. They use simple terms to explain what they're doing, and when things get a little too technical, they explain what's going on. While they do take some liberties with what a picture-perfect memory is like, they otherwise make the story seem grounded in a reality that we can all identify with. One thing Hackers has going for it is that they made hacking seem hip. The film somehow still feels fresh. However, younger viewers may need to ask their parents what the hackers keep passing back and forth. It's a floppy disk, kid. A diskette if you want to be a dork about it. With a cast of people who would go on to make big money in many movies down the road, it's odd to see them so young and so oddball cool in a movie that was so poorly received. It's hard to understand how Hackers wasn't a bigger hit at the time, and it's even more complicated to understand how modern day nerds haven't seen it multiple times. So get out a notepad and jot down hacker tips while enjoying the coolest movie from 1995. If you have seen the film, then let us know what you thought about it in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to keep up to date on all the latest cyberpunk videos when we tell you what you gotta see. Why is it happening? Why is it finally happening? Unbelievable. There is time only for fear. A hacker. Do we pray? You wanted to know who I am, Zero Cool? Well, let me explain the new world order.